Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What is the Difference Between Litmus and an Acid Base Indicator? Okay, so a litmus test now just has a general meeting of some kind of test you have to take to prove if you're good enough or not, uh, but it all started from an actual litmus test which measures the pH. And so litmus is just a word for various dyes uh, and they're collected from lichen, which is a type of fungus. So uh, having a litmus test dates back a long time ago. It was one of the first pH tests, pH tests we ever developed. Um, and the basic way that it works is that you collect your dyes, you place them onto some sort of sampling so you can make it out of paper. It usually looks like this, like a strip. Um, and then you dip it into your substance. And so the way that litmus works is that if your substance turns pink or red, it means it's acidic. Whereas if it turns blue, it means it's basic. And if it stays the color of the paper, it means it's neutral. So that's a litmus test, and they're still used today, but we also have uh, other ways of testing for acid and bases. And so you might have seen these if you own like a hot tub or a pool that needs to be uh, tested for basicity or, ac or acidity, um, or if you've just done experiments. And so uh, the current ones now, they look like more like squares like this. Uh, and you dip it in and then you have this kind of complicated key where you have to ch like check all seven or eight colors to see what pH you're at. And so the benefits are that these are much more um, useful just because they're more accurate. They give you more of a specific number of what pH it is. These just kind of tell you acidic, basic, or neutral, but they're older, right? It's the first version. And so these are made almost the same way as this. Basically, in each square is a different halochromic chemical. And so a halochromic chemical is just a chemical that will change its color if it's exposed to different pHs. So if it's, you know, it'll stay one color until it's exposed to something like, let's say, past pH 5, any more acidic than that, it'll change its color. And there's dozens of these. So the pH strips that you use are gonna vary uh, from the pH strips someone else is using. So every single square is a different chemical. And each chemical will have its own specific pH that it tests. That's why you have to like look at a key and figure out which ones have turned and which ones haven't. And that way you can narrow it in to the exact pH that you're dealing with. So basically a litmus test and a general acid base test are the same, they're, they're trying to get to the same goal, they're just different ways, well they're basically the same way of doing it, but a litmus test is just older and only has a couple, and the new acid base indicator way is newer and better. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What's the Difference Between Litmus and an Acid Base Indicator?